Hi students, I hope you all good in health in this pandemic situation. Our school is going to start online classes. To begin this, I am going to teach 12th standard computer science. Uh, 12th standard is easier than 11th standard because in 11th standard you studied two volumes. But in 12th standard you have only one volume. In this volume totally you have uh, five units. First unit is problem solving techniques. In this unit totally four chapters. Chapter 1 is function. Second chapter is data abstraction. Third chapter is scoping. Fourth chapter is algorithmic strategies. Today I am going to teach functions. In this video let us see about the interactions of functions. It is one of the most important topic because every programming languages will be depends upon this functions. Let us see what is function, why we are using functions in a program. First we will see one example. If you want to print your name for 20 number of times. You want to print your name for 20 number of times. So you have to write your name again and again up to 20 times. Again and again means what? You are wasting your time. Length of the program will be increasing and you need more memory space. To avoid these difficulties, you can create one function and that function will print your name for 20 times. You just make a call to that function. If you are doing this means, what will happen? It will save your time. Length of the program will be decreasing. And you need only less memory space. For that purpose only we are using functions. So this is the main concept of the function. Uh, now let us see the definitions of functions. What is a function? You have to study these four points. The first point is functions are also called as subproteins. What is subproteins? Subproteins means programs. Sometimes uh, large programs are divided into subprograms. These subprograms are, are called as subproteins. That is also known as functions. Next point is functions are the small sections of code that are used to, to perform a particular task that can be used repeatedly. Sections of code. Sections of code means set of statements. This set of statements to be repeated many times to perform a particular task. Okay. And next point. Functions are the basic building blocks of computer programs. What is the basic building blocks? Every function is enclosed within a curly braces. So, this is called a block. This is called basic building blocks. Our next point is, a function contains a set of codes that works on many kinds of inputs like variants, expressions and produces a concrete output. So, it having the many kinds of inputs like variants, expressions and concrete output. So, these four points are very very important. So, this is about functions. Uh, now, let us see uh, what is function expression, what is function definition and what is the difference between function expression and function definition. First, we will see function expression. Function expression means it is a combination of operators, constants, variables and function call. First one is operators. What is mean by operators? Uh, we will see one example. A is equal to 5. Here equal to is the assignment operator. And or 
8 plus 3. Here plus is the addition operator. Likewise, plus, minus, multiplication, division, modulus, etc. These all operators. Our next one is constants. The value of the constant cannot be changed. For example, pi is equal to 3.14. This 3.14 is a constant value of the value variable pi. We cannot change the pi value anytime or anywhere. So this type of constant value are called as constants. Next one is variables. This is an example a is equal to 5. So this value 5 is stored in the variable a. So a is a memory area. And next one is function call. They are calling a functions. Example average sum. These are functions. Functions enclosed by pair of parentheses. So this is called a function expressions. Now let's see what is function definition. Here binds the values to the name. This is called function definition. See one example a colon is equal to 5. Here colon is equal to is a assignment operator. Already we know function expression is a combination of operators, constants, variables, functions. Function call. Here colon is equal to is a operator. So this full statement are called as function call. Here colon is equal to is a operator. So this full statement are called as function expression. But function definition is binds the values to the name. So which value is bounded with the variable a? 5 is bounded with the variable a. So 5 is a function definition. So here this is function expression and 5 is a function definition. A function expression is not treated as a function definition and function definition is not treated as a function expression. These two are different from each other. So this is about function expression and a function definition. Now let's see what is parameters and what is arguments. I will start with one example. A is equal to 5. The value 5 is stored in the variable A. So A is a variable and 5 is a value. So what is a variable? Variable is a memory area. Variable also known as parameters. So the variable is a memory area. It is used to, to store the value 5 or hold the value 5. And the value is also called as arguments. Now you see the definition of parameters. Parameters are the variables in a function definition. So the variables also known as parameters and arguments. Arguments are the values which are passed to a function definition. Here values are also known as arguments. We call the variables as a parameters and we call the values as a arguments. Now let's see parameter without type. Parameter without type means not having data type. Already you learn about the data type in the 11th standard. Now I am going to explain little bit uh, uh, some commonly used data types. Some commonly used data types are integer float character. The first one is integer. This uh, int data type accepts only whole number either positive or negative numbers. Example 0, 1, 2 like that. And then float. Uh, float data type 
accepts only the floating point values. Floating point values means the fractional values, example 0 0.1, 1.2 like that. And next one is character, it will accept only the characters or letters, example A, B, C likewise. So these are some commonly used data types. Now you see uh, requires. The requires means precondition. You have to explain the precondition before the before the execution of the function. And returns means post condition. You have to execute the post condition after the execution of the function. So this, this is called precondition and this is called post condition. Here let means keyword. So what is a keyword? Keyword is some uh, reserved words. These reserved words are called as keywords and REC means recursive. The function definition which you uh, call itself, it's called uh, recursive functions. And the power is a function name, a, b is a variable, already we learned. And if it's a condition, here b is equal to 0 means it will uh, uh, return the value 1. Otherwise, um, a is multiplied by this expression and, and then it will reply, uh, return the value. So, here you can see. Uh, here that uh, we have not mentioned any data type. Some language compiler solved this problem, but uh, some language compiler needed to mention the data type. Here the data type can be added by the compilers. Here data type uh, is not given, but values are given. The values are 0, 1 and 0. Uh, P A B is a parameter and 0 is a value of this parameter and it will return the value 1 and again we can calculate the b value with the uh, variable a so this parameter also maybe get the integer value so a also must be a integer data type so these all the variables having integer data type so this is about the parameter without type next one is parameter with type here, parameter with type means it's having data type. Having a data type. See this coding. Uh, Pre-condition is given. And the post-condition is also given. Let is a keyword. REC is a recursive function. Uh, POW is a uh, function name, power. And A, B is a parameters. These two parameters having the data type integer. Already you know uh, integer accepts only the data type integer. Already you know uh, integer accepts only the whole numbers. So these two having the data type integer as well as in this condition uh, B is equal to 0. It's true means it will print the return the value 1. Otherwise, A is multiplied with this expression and it will return the value. So, the data types A and B are written within a parenthesis. So, you can write a data type even without parenthesis. But, if you want to avoid getting data type error message from the compiler, you should add parenthesis. So, this is about parameter with type. Uh, now, we will see. What is recursive function? This function is an uh, important and powerful tool in programming languages. So, what is the definition of recursive function? The definition of recursive function is a function definition which called itself is called as recursive function. For example, void fun. The fun is a function name. So, this is a function. And all the function definitions enclosed within a pair of curves.
curly braces. So within the function block we are calling the same function, same function itself. So uh, within the function block we are calling the same function itself. This is called a recursive function. Now you see the syntax. Uh, let us a keyword. REC represents recursive function and FN is a function name A1, A2 up to AN. These all arguments. These all arguments. And K is a constant. Uh, formula is given here. And this formula calculate these all the arguments. This is called recursive function. Uh, I finished this session with this. Uh, take notes and study well. Thank you.